<laughs> many, many years ago, one of my co-workers had a, one of those Nokia communicators, and it was one of the first phones where you could change the ringtone to anything, like a WAV file. And he left the office, and I grabbed his phone and changed his ringtone to me, sarcastically going, ring, ring. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that was his ringtone. And the, on the Monday... He was like, "Oh, I had so many missed calls over the weekend. <laughs> Everyone kept calling me, and I didn't, I couldn't, I couldn't hear it. Something wrong with my phone." I was like, "Oh, uh oh!" And uh, he said, "Could someone ring me?" And I had to walk out the office while someone else <laughs> rang him. And then there was my voice in the room, just going, "Ring, ring!" And he was like, "Right, that'll be Popey then." <laughs> Those were the days, pranking your uh, office co-workers. Yeah. I kind of miss that about uh, working in an office. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bullying your co workers by yeah. changing their Facebook status. I can remember <laughs> people that I was working with, were, they were. All, uh, security was caught of sort of an emerging thing. Everyone was wanting to be. Like, <laughs> They'd heard of it. <laughs> the security, the security person. And uh, they were all telling me about how they'd hardened their Windows workstation. So, you know, I sat there and moments later w was ejecting the CD tray on their on their workstations <laughs> to basically point out, no, not so much. <laughs> I, um, yeah, I just do all those pranks on my uh, one-year-old now instead. It's great. <laughs> you, want to, you want to see her try and use a mouse when it's got sellotape on the, on the, on the laser. <laughs> I, I once set someone's... Uh, it, I don't know if you know this, but in Skype, you can set your status. Or you used to be able to in the old version of Skype. And the guy next to me, Asian dude from India, um, he... Uh, I set his, he closed every application because they were all well aware that everyone was pranking each other. And I changed his Skype status to just say, I like men. That's, that's all it meant. And, uh, and uh, I left the company. I, I was no longer there. And uh, six months later, <laughs> I got a message from someone else who worked there and said, hey, did you, did you just an off, off, off chance, did you by any chance change Mandar's um, Skype status to I like men. And I was like, uh, yeah, like eight months ago. <laughs> and he said, all oh, right, he's just noticed today. Like, <laughs> after I left, I was like, how did he notice? He said, oh, he was having a family call with his parents in <laughs> India. <laughs> that was a real slow burn, that, that joke. <laughs> it's, it's quite and oh, what is this? <laughs> I was like, yeah, I might have done that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a terrible person. Because he's, been, <laughs> he's been disowned by his family now. Yeah. Oh, dear me. So, Popey, you just need to say I'm Popey because people are saying which which voice is Popey. I'm, I'm the real Popey. <laughs> I, I'll stand up. I'm the real Popey. What's the um, who's, who's, uh, do we all sound How can like people Popey? not tell us apart? I mean, we're all British voices. I so, think it's yeah, people that are new to the stream oh, inquiring okay. as to who, who's who. Yes, Yannick, I'm a horrible person. I'm the one who just told the horrible story. That's my voice. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that wasn't me. <laughs> just to clarify. Yeah, my name is Wimpy. <laughs> <laughs> 